All right, guys, we're back with another Edison Format Finals, this time at Eclipse Games. You got Ryan Knight on the left playing Hero Frogs, or the Sheriff Lose on the right playing Bayou Turbo. So these two are becoming the signature decks of Edison Format, along with Black Wings, I believe. Uh, you know, YCS Indy, these two decks made the finals, so no surprise here at the local. The week before, this actually, this local actually took place a week before Indy, so surprise, surprise, these two decks made the finals. So Lose went first, Summon Greffer, Send Plague from his hand, and Necro to the Grave. Typical opening in... Uh, in value with two back rows so that's surprising that low set two maybe he has solemn I, I don't know the list he was using this day but he's left with two cards in hand and let's see what ryan does so ryan opens rota so it looks like no heavy storm from ryan would ryan have stormed los with two back rows if he had it who knows okay so ryan's hand is like dupe and unifrog so now that YCS Indy has passed, it's interesting because, like, the guy who went undefeated in Swiss was running one Treeborn. And I, and I kind of, like, I've joked about it, about it with Ryan about running one Treeborn. But I was, like, half serious when I said it. So Ryan thought it was a joke, but I was, I was like, highly considering only playing one Treeborn. But it's so risky. But I think, uh, Dimitri, I think that's his, uh, DB name, maybe? He says he's, he's not going to walk in, like... Game one, no one banishes the Treeborn, and he's not going to just leave it out there, up there to get Caius. So it's not a bad idea, because I think one of the weaknesses with Hero Frogs, I, I talk to Ryan about this all the time, is one of the reasons why I quit playing the deck, is because a lot of times you draw too many frogs. That's why I've been back and forth with Unifrog. But I think a lot of the frog players, they're just like, I have to play that card. Anyway, here, Los tops for Plague, Synchros for six, going to probably try to Goyo the... The Stratos? Maybe we should play Mali in Bayou Turbo for whenever you go your Stratos. It comes up quite often. <laughs> and just go grab a Malicious. <laughs> so he attacks the Stratos, and Ryan's just going to give it to him. So that's first damage from Ryan I. Ryan Knight trying to get his fourth win on the channel. <clears throat> Lowe's is obviously, he right now he has got, he's got the most wins on the channel. I, we lost track how many wins he's got. Anyway, now three back rows. So Lowe's definitely has Solemn Judgment. He Probably one of those first two back rows he set was Solemn Judgment, which is a card that a lot of people in the Edison community have been thinking about cutting. And I talked about it to a few people at Indy, and I, it's just the, if when you draw Solemn early, paying half your life, sometimes it costs you the game. All right, here comes Caius. Gets rid of Ryan's dupe. Yeah, this game, this is not looking good for Ryan. Does he have Gores? He does have the Gores, so can Lowe's deal with the Gores? Let's see. 18 to 8,000, three back rows. I mean, the 2,800 token, if he has like a 1D prison, a Compulse is not bad. Mirror Force is good, so he's got a lot of cards to protect his setup. So let's see. Like, I'm almost positive one of those two back rows that Lowe's set was solid. So one thing that I've stopped... Not stop, but like I hate doing is like when I have solemn judgment, I hate setting two because you're almost forced to solemn the heavy. Sometimes I'll just set one. Like let's say I have like solemn and bottomless. Sometimes I'll just set bottomless and or just set solemn. That way I'm not forced to hit, uh solemn the heavy, but we'll see. Up here is what Lotus backwards are. He's uh thinking a lot here. Okay, I think Ryan drew upstart. Ryan's still on the upstart bandwagon. The three deck profiles I saw from Indy, n neither one of them played. None, none of the three played Upstart. So maybe that'll go down in popularity. I wonder if Ryan will consider cutting it. If you, have to, if you play Upstart, you got to make sacrifices. That's what people don't understand. There's some cards you're going to have to cut. You can't fit everything. It's, just, it's up to you. All right, so Ryan with the uh, Miracle. So Los lets the Miracle go through. Gets rid of Uni and Stratos. What does Lowe's have? A Bottomless, a Torrential. What could he have here? A Mirror Force? I'm reading Mirror Force. Yeah, I'm reading Mirror Force here. Ooh, no. Nothing. So Ryan takes 300, attacks with Gores. So what are Lowe's back rows? So he had nothing to stop the Miracle. Maybe he's got Return. How will Lowe's get out of this? Return. Maybe he can make a dark. Maybe he's got dark arm. Maybe he's got burial. He might have set like a dead MST is another possibility. 
he might have set a dead MST against Ryan because it's a bad, like, that card's not very good against Frogs. But they do play, like, five traps. You see Frazier's list, which a lot of people moving forward are going to copy Frazier's deck list. It just happens. If a guy who wins a tournament, and especially if he's a really well-recognized player like Frazier, people are going to copy his deck. So he played triple Regeki Break, Torrential, and Mirror Force in his deck. And trust me, that Mirror Force went in. He got me with Mirror Force in the finals. Uh, he had a Stratos. I went Greffer, bring out Arnwing, attack with both, and he uh, he Mirror Forced me. Okay, so yeah, Lowe's had the return. So that was one of the first back rows he set. Okay, so here he makes Armory Arm. Oh, he's going to go for Armory Arm game. And Topper Plague. Yeah, this is this is game. He's going to kill him with, with Armory Arm. Yeah, 22, and that's game. So yeah, Lowe's kind of... I couldn't see his other back rows. I think it was like Bottomless and Solemn, it looked like. So Ryan was just... That, that was just a game where Ryan just lost because he just took so much damage. Like, he was... He was, like, up on cards, but... That's just what happens if you take a lot of damage early and then uh, they just beat you like that with armor arm. And return, I mean. Return is like a game-winning card. You saw it there. But I'm thinking, did, what else was there in Ryan's hand? Did he have another miracle? Okay, so Ryan's going first his game. Summon Stratos pitch. This is a strong opening from Ryan. Stratos, Ocean, now he's got Treeborn, bounces back to Stratos. This is such a strong open, especially if you have Miracle. You can like Miracle and then summon Stratos, pop a back row. Okay, Los with the charge, mills Mirror Forest, Gale, and Greffer. So two dogs, but luckily he milled nothing off the charge. Searches Ryko. So going second, I'm almost positive. I don't know if Los is playing Hamster, but I'm almost positive he sided, sided him out. Okay, so he summons Greffer just to run over the Swap Frog. Sorry, not Nec... Not, oh, Necro, Necro. Ooh, the Zombie World in Bayou. Maybe Lo should have told me about this, and maybe I would have played this at Indy. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know. <laughs> okay, so he heavies, Los is... Zombie World, another card, then Caius is over the Necro. Yeah, this is going to... I think this game is uh, over for Los, and Los knows now heavy's gone. I can set three, and Ryan's up on a bunch of cards... So you know he's got the Ryko he just set. So what are you going to do? So blind MST, seeing what you hit. Good hit off the return, so you don't have to worry about it from now on. Yeah, I think Ryan should should win this game. Breaker! <laughs> and he breaks the... That card... I need to put some respect on Breaker. I saw it a lot at Indy, and I thought that card was kind of mid. But it's actually pretty annoying. I think I had a few people summon Breaker on me. Okay, so Ryan's expecting him. Why, why didn't Los mill Mirror Force? I think he did mill Mirror Force, right off the charge. Okay, so he prisons Caius, and now here comes Ryko, pops the Breaker. Los mills the Bayou, Dushu, Deck Dev. That this game, yeah, I'm pretty sure he milled Mirror Force. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, Los has got no cards. All he has is a Bayou, but he has nothing in the grave. So the only thing Ryan needs to be worried about here is like a dark arm, maybe. This game, Ryan should win this game. Pokes him for 19, unless if Lowe's top deck Gores. But now Lowe's is down to 27. There he tops Sirocco. Kai is his game if Ryan has another one. What is it? So he has Stratos, Malicious Edge. Miracle. This this looks like game. Unless if Los drew the gores. Tribute for Malicious Edge. Miracle and Los packs up his cards. Alright. So game three. Ryan trying to get his fourth win on the channel. Los, I think he's going for a 19. Is I think that's the number where he's at. Alright. So Los went first. Typical opening in Bayou. T set. Summon Swap Frog. I think this matchup, I've said this, I think Frogs are favored, especially if they win the die roll. I feel like Bayou can sometimes win if they go first, but if if the Frog player goes first, it's really hard for Bayou to win. 
because they get their substitute unless if they don't draw their their treeborn. But I feel like like going second for Vayu game one is like so hard, man. All right, so we're both at eight thousand. Low sets another monster. He didn't mill anything off the Raiko. Looks like he milled traps. MST bottomless, and I think he milled double bottomless. Yeah. Was low Lo went first this game? See, I don't like bottomless against Hero Frogs, but I actually did the same thing. I kept both the bottomlesses in going first for one reason only. I actually don't like it against this deck. It's okay. You can sometimes bottomless absolute zero. But the reason I don't I, I kept it in is because it's only there to protect Fossil Dyna. That's the only reason I keep it in. Because sometimes they, they have only a few outs to the Dyna. Like, people are starting to side in Didi Assailant. So... Okay, so th that's why I... But I really don't like it against Hero Frogs. Except, like I said, only to protect Dyna. So let's see what's Ryan's hand. So there's the thing I was talking about with the Unifrog. Okay, now Los has two sets. Ryan's hand is Sub, Uni, Miracle, Gores, Brain Control. And I think maybe Malicious Edge. So yeah, Sub, Uni. He's got Treeborn. He's got one back row. And he passes. So I wonder what his back row is. Maybe it's like a Torrential, a Mirror Force, a D-Prison. So Ryan chooses to Ryko, the other back row. And he changed Regeki Break, discards Dupe. So yeah, this is one of those hands that I talk about. Ryan drew too many frogs. Oh, Dinah. <laughs> Dinah and one back row. So that's 22. Does Ryan have the out to Dinah? It, it, I think Brain Control, if he draws a Monarch, is, is the out. So there's the out. Yeah, he must have a... Well, I think he has Malicious Edge. How else is he going to get it off the field? But Lowe's had, that, Lowe's had the, the one song to stop the brain control. How would he... Oh, he does have Caius. Okay. So, yeah, Lowe's had the Solemn there to stop the brain control. That's, like, the only card he could have had, too, that I can think about. And now he's going to probably stall out with... With, uh... Sub. So, let's see. If Los has Caius, he can... This game is probably over for Ryan. Unless he draws an out to Dinah. Let's see. I don't think Los has Caius because he probably would have Caius them already. Yeah, Caius, tributing whatever. I mean, he could, he has Sirocco, so he can, like, tribute the Raiko, pump with Sirocco. At least this is what I see. And then attack over the set. Yeah, that's already an out to, the like, a stalling. Ryan stalling with... Uh, oh, he tributes both. And then attacks for 12. I guess he'd rather have the bigger gores. Yeah, but I think he could have just tributed for Sirocco... Pump, attack, but it's not as much damage. This way you put him on a bigger clock. Now Ryan's at 38, sets one. Ooh, no. So it looks like Los is not afraid of Torrential, but he is afraid of Mirror Force here. Maybe he doesn't want to take the risk. But Ryan would have had to have topped the Torrential. So he attacks over Unifrog. But again, maybe he read he didn't have Torrential. Because maybe Ryan would have... Oh, there's a dust shoe. So it's Gores, Caius. Yeah, Ryan's hand's not good. I think Los maybe assumed that Ryan didn't have Torrential because he would have just... No, I think... He could have ripped it. It's, po it's possible he could have topped the Torrential. But maybe maybe since Ryan set a monster, Los didn't wasn't afraid of Torrential. But anyway, dust shoe, now he knows... Now he knows that Ryan's got Mirror Force, and who knows what the other card is. Ooh, Lowe's turned off his deck dev. But you know his hand. So he hits the Oppression, not the deck dev. And now he's going for game, Threatening Roar. A second back row from Los. This game's like, I think he drew Gore's Miracle. Yeah, this is just Dinah going in game. Yeah, this is... Dupe. Sub. Okay, so at least he can survive a few more turns. It's just Dinah, man. That's what this matchup comes down to. Dinah. 
One thing I will say, I think people might start side decking three Dinas moving forward. We'll see how the frog decks adapt. Because it's become, it's it's gone out of hand. Like, frogs have won two big ultimate time wizards now. And they, three if you count the 3v3 in Vegas, so. It's crazy how, like, the meta evolves. Because I, I heard, from what I heard, is like, at YCS Raleigh, the one Eric Shen won, no one was playing, well, not no one, but, like, the frogs weren't as popular as they were at Vegas or at Indy this year. But then Indy 2023, I was the only frog, I was, like, one of the few frog players in the tournament. So some regions just gravitate more towards certain decks. Yeah, Ryan's hand is double miracle, so now he's got to out the Dinah. But you know Solemn's gone. Ooh, no, I, is Miracle even live? Attacks. So he's leaving the Dinah up. I don't know if Ryan's Miracle is live. I'd have to see his grave. Let's see. Can, will he fan the grave? No, I don't think it's live. So, yeah, Ryan just drew no heroes. So, he really doesn't care about the Dyna. And he's at 21. But if you stack the Dyna, I, 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 get, I get why he went for the back row then. It makes sense. Because if he stacks the Dyna, Loge is going to draw it again. Maybe he's trying to snipe the D-Prison. So Lowe's decides to necro. Now Lowe's has to find a way to deal with the face of Ryza. So three cards in Lowe's hand. Switches Dinah to attack. So he chooses to crash. What does he have? Return, maybe? Oh, Dark Arm. Dark Arm, Pop, Ryza. But now you have so much advantage that what can Ryan do? Maybe he's got another oppression back there. Ryan needs to draw a hero. He draws sub. Does he have Treeborn in the grave? But Los has Dark Arm, so... All right, so sub. Unfortunately, Ryan can't really deal with the with the with the dark arm. So what do you do? Do you just get all the frogs out of the deck? But you're at twenty one is another issue. So I think you kind of have to stall. Yeah, you just got to leave them up, and then Los is just gonna dark arm you, and then this is game. Yep, this is game because those two dead miracles. Ryan didn't draw a single hero. Pop. And yeah, this should be game. Yeah, this is just one of those games. Ryan really needed a, a hero. This is one of the reasons why I didn't play Hero Frogs at YCS Indy. This, this has happened to me a lot of times, playing Hero Frogs. I said it in a lot of videos, but I feel Hero Frogs is more powerful than... Uh, yeah, Hero Frogs is more powerful than Bayou. But Bayou is more consistent. So it just comes down to you. What do you prefer? Do you prefer consistency or power? Uh, and, yeah, congrats to Lowe's getting his 19th win on the channel. Ryan with another finals appearance. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. And we'll be back soon for some more tournaments. Bye, guys.